Hi there and welcome to this Optimized Press update. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new 2.5 features that we rolled out inside Optimized Press. Now, I know a lot of you have been using the new features and it's been well and truly tested. We wanted to make a video just to show you some of the things that we've enhanced and we've improved on the back end and also to show you some of the features on the front end and how you can use them. So a lot of time has been focused in the live editor. We've improved the speed of the live editor and I've made a little comparison here. You can see the difference in page loading speed for that live editor when it opens up. Now a lot of the live editor work is really on optimizing the loading of the scripts behind the scenes, things like the styles and the images that it has to pull through to load for you on the page. Now this also sort of in turn plays a part in the actual page itself, so it's improving the speed of the actual pages that you create with a live editor. But a lot of the work we've done is cleaning up the code. We've done things that are called modulized loading. So we're making Optimized Press Live Editor will only load the features that it needs to load that are necessary for creating your pages. So that's how we've improved the speed of that live editor. So it's loading up much quicker than it is. We reduce the number of requests that are made when that live editor is trying to load. I'm not going to go into all the technical stuff. Overall, it's quicker. It's flashing up on the page much quicker. Within three seconds, the live editor is open, allowing you to start working immediately on your pages. Another new feature we added was that being able to increase your font sizes to go really big. So you can choose your fonts. You can take them now right the way up to 190 and onwards to 210, 30, 250. Obviously, if you do this, you want to do a bit of testing, make sure that the size of the font works with the font style that you're using. You might need to increase or decrease some of the font spacing, turning off bolds and turning off stylings that you um, when you choose the larger fonts. They work great for if you're using small headlines, short two-word headlines. You can bring the fonts right up to 250 is your maximum. Okay, so there's another new way to you to style your pages and make them stand out a bit more. Another feature we introduced was the user already subscribed page. And this is a URL that you put in where you can tell the user to be redirected to if they're already subscribed to one of your email lists. And this is useful for people if they're trying to opt in multiple times, you can remind them they already are on your list and they will be getting your download or whatever it is you choose. So this feature allows you to put in a different URL to the thank you page and it's the already subscribed page URL. Now there are some email services that don't support this. Um, Office Autopilot, which is now Entreport, that doesn't support this and Maripost doesn't support this at this time. So check with your um, obviously your list provider, make sure they do support it. But this allows you to basically redirect that person to an already subscribed page on your website. Another feature we rolled out was the author bio section in your blogs. So if you go into your user account in your blog, you can put in a biographical information. You can put in the text about you, who you are, and this then shows up on the blog section. If we jump over to the Optimized Press blog here, you can see here we've got about the author, and it then takes the name from your user account inside WordPress, and the text that you've got here is included in that author bio box. Okay, so that is the author bio feature. Below this video are some little tips on how you can style it if you want to change the style of the default settings to match that of your site. Another enhancement we've done inside Optimized Press was improve the WYSIWYG editor that you see here. This what you see is what you get editor. Now previously this editor was using a different platform which was pulled in allowing you to style your headlines and style your text boxes inside this editor. But what we've done, we stripped the editor out and we put in the default WordPress one. So it now uses the same editor that WordPress already has installed. So again, this is improving the compatibility and the speed that this editor works in. Now this might not be something you notice from the front end on how it looks, but behind the scenes, Overall, this is improving the load speed of Optimized Press, and it's actually cleaning up the code that we're using inside to call in this editor on every little element wherever you want to add in some text. So there were some other features added to email list providers like egoe and Maripost. If you use those services, you'll see the additional features that we added there with the thank you fields. And there was also a huge bunch of fixes and tweaks on the back end from previous updates. So thank you everyone for your feedback. Thank you for your feature requests as well. So please keep them coming. We do go through them. We try and prioritize the features based on what we know that you guys already want. 
So as always, please comment below if you have any questions. Keep your feedback coming and we'll see you in another video.